Thank you for joining us for this reverent celebration of America's leaders, past and present. Now, the Walt Disney World Resort proudly presents the Hall of Residents. This program is dedicated to the memory of Walt Disney. In 1971, his love for America inspired the creation of the Hall of Presidents, a place to celebrate the optimism and goodwill he saw at the heart of the American story. Walt's vision was to honor the nation by honoring the American presidency.
called Lanky, some say uncouth candidate from Illinois, is a master of words at a time when speeches are printed in full for people to read. A house divided against itself cannot stand, he has said. With Lincoln's election, the house does indeed divide. Civil War. Eleven states secede from the Union. The war becomes a defining passage in the American story. The president's own inner strength and depth of character changed the course of history. Lincoln had come up the hard way on the American frontier, desperately poor, with less than a year of formal schooling. His early years were scarred by tragedy, the death of his mother, his sister, his first love. He struggles with depression, but never loses his determination to rise above it. He once said he's driven by a desire to leave the world a little better place for having lived in it. The war rages. Lincoln fights to preserve the Union and end slavery. Neither is a sure thing. At Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, six months after one of the bloodiest battles of the war, the president dedicates a cemetery to the thousands of soldiers who died there in words we can never forget. Four score and seven years ago, Take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. And the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. The blood of over half a million Americans is spilled in this civil war. President Lincoln's enduring hope is to give true meaning to the sacrifices of so many, to lead us to that new birth of freedom. With the end of the war and the end of slavery, a new birth truly begins. As we roll toward the 20th century, Settlers roll west on wagon wheels, and railroads connect the nation coast to coast. Millions of immigrants pour in from Europe and Asia. Population doubles. Our economy triples. Our standing among nations rises. We need presidents who can lead both at home and abroad. At the same time, a young Theodore Roosevelt is retreating from New York politics and personal tragedy. The death of his wife and his mother on the same day in the same house. In the badlands of North Dakota, he rethinks his life and the life of his country. 
he returns stronger in body and spirit. His renewed energy is just what his country needs. American industry is booming, but social tensions are rising. A progressive movement is bubbling up, pushing for change, and change is needed in the working and living conditions in cities. The gap widens between rich and poor. The demand for change grows stronger. Teddy Roosevelt is a knight on a crusade. He speaks with force and vitality in clear terms that make colorful headlines at a time when mass market newspapers have become the new media. To define his foreign policy, he borrows a phrase from an African proverb, speak softly and carry a big stick. But his greatest accomplishments are made at home. He breaks up giant monopolies, protects workers' rights, and calls for a square deal for all Americans, rich and poor, capitalist and wage earner. And a square deal for every man and every woman in the United States. He calls on America to be as great as the natural grandeur of its lands.
One of the agreements that President Sadat and Prime Minister Begin are signing tonight is entitled A Framework for Peace in the Middle East. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. You have lost too much, but you have certainly not lost America.
and i will to the best of my ability preserve protect and defend the constitution of the united states so help me god the presidency of the united states is a role unique in the world an office entrusted to each president by us we the people therein lies the genius of that new idea now over 200 years old a new idea our presidents have turned into a great american idea again and again